so the, the, the CS300, as you said, this, we have two models, the 100 and the 300. Yeah. So the 100 is 130 to 140 seats, um, and the 300 is a little bit larger, up to 150 seats, depending on the seating configuration. Both airplanes are exactly the same, 98.9% .9 common. So this aeroplane, both the 100 and the 300, is a total clean sheet design aeroplane. So what we mean by that is everything on this aeroplane was up for debate. What do we want? What's the best? We looked around at what other people, manuf other manufacturers put on their aeroplanes. And if we liked it, we would, we would do something similar. Yeah. If we looked at the other manufacturers and we didn't like what they were making or designing, we would design it ourselves. So uh, for example, you know, people look at the side stick and they say this is a little bit like Airbus. It looks like Airbus, but the flight control laws are totally different, much, much simpler. Um, we've got moving thrust levers, which is uh, similar to Boeing, but it's also the same as our company products, our business jets as well. So it's really, really total clean sheet design aeroplane. And the flight deck's been designed by pilots for pilots. So uh, it's, it's a wonderful flight deck for pilots, it yeah. really is. Yeah. Well, the good thing is, like, the five display screens, they're all the same part number, and therefore they're all interchangeable. So from a store's point of view, you only need to keep one spare screen. And the screens are very reliable. If we lose the screen, um, you get automatic reversion. So for example, if I lost one of my primary flight displays... You can flip it. it automatically, it's going to come across to here. Yeah. So it, it happens all automatically. Now we've trained Swiss pilots, Swiss have got two aeroplanes flying, yeah. we've trained Air Baltic pilots and uh, they get taking delivery of the aeroplane very very shortly. And all of the training that we've done so far we've had no problem at all because when we designed the aeroplane one of the things we had in mind right from the very beginning was training. And you know, If we can make it intuitive for a pilot, if we make it, the pilot understand it intuitively then there's no training involved. Yeah. And it's as simple exactly, as that. Yeah. 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 It's very the the design it's all it's all clean and uh, edgy. It's exactly. Well one of the big advantages we had is that when we designed this aeroplane, we decided that we would start again and we would have a clean sheet of paper. Yeah. So it's a clean sheet design aeroplane, we'd have a clean sheet of paper and we would work out exactly what is the very, very best. Now the Disadvantage of other companies who manufacture airplanes, they try to keep the same commonality throughout the whole fleet. Yeah. Which is the, the advantage for that is that they are, it's easier to train pilots from one yeah. of their types Cheaper, to the next. Yeah. But unfortunately, they design in the same bad system or the same fault that they designed in the airplanes 30 or 40 years ago. Yeah. So because the, to keep it so common, old, yeah, very the same old, old, same old, uh, same old. And I'm not. I'm not running down uh, Boeing or Airbus because they, they both make great airplanes, there's no yeah. question. But they are, their hands are sort of a little bit tied together yeah. when it comes to designing new airplanes. Yeah. Whereas on this airplane, we decided we'll start again, yeah. totally from scratch, new type rating for pilots, and it's, just, it's worked. It really has worked. The 7, the Boeing 787, people look at the cockpit on the 787, look at this, and there's similarities. Obviously, we have a side stick, they have control uh, column. Yeah. But apart from that, um, and it's not the fact that they copied us or we copied them at all. They were both designed in parallel. It's just the fact that that's the way that aviation is going, the technology yeah. of, of uh, it is. carbon fiber wings and that type of thing. Yeah, the, um, the disadvantage with the control column, and one of the main reasons we went to the, uh, the uh, control column instead of the yoke, the side stick rather, instead of the control column, is that if you had a, a control column up here, you're blocking half of your view yeah. and you're losing information. Yeah. And so we've put a lot of effort on, on making the screens very, very yeah. clear and the information available. So why block all that information? Yeah, exactly, and the workspace and yeah. Uh, and yeah. Exactly. The heat-up display, like this airplane is not fitted with a heat-up display. Yeah. Because um, this is one of our experimental airplanes. But the heat-up display is an option. Um, it's a fold-down screen. The reason that uh, we don't fit it as standard is some airlines want it, some do not. Some airlines want a hut on one side and uh, not on the other, or some want both, some want neither. Mm. So um, it's, a, uh, it's a total, it's totally over to the airline yeah. uh, for that. It is a, it's expensive, uh, more expensive of course, it's yeah. an option, but uh, it does give the pilot tremendous information and tremendous situational awareness. So yeah, it's a good thing. 
I, I love it myself. Yeah, while remaining the, the view. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. And that was one of the, you know, you raised a, a good point. We put very, very big windows in this aeroplane. The yeah. size of the aeroplane now, massive windows. The reason we did that is, is for safety. We want pilots looking outside. Yeah. So the main controls, like the radios and the, the mode, the flight modes, we put on the glare shield panel up here. So you don't have to look down. Yeah. When you're coming in to do an approach or you're taxiing around an airfield, you, you can just change the information up here. Instead of looking down here. Instead of looking down. Because yeah, yeah. if you look down, sorry, if you look down, then uh, you know, you're, you're distracted by what's going on. Yeah. And it's the same with like our checklist, our normal checklist we okay. have here. So we've got, these are the on-ground checks before we take off. We have no taxi checks for the same reason, because we don't, we believe that pilots should not be looking outside. Oh, they should be. They should be looking outside. They shouldn't be doing checks while I text the airplane around. Um, we went with a trackball, yep. so just like a mouse on a computer. And probably one of the best that I can show you on your screen here. So here's the trackball. It's just like a mouse on a computer, as I said. So we've got drop-down menus, so we can select any item on the drop-down menu, and it highlights the item before we select it. We looked at touch screens, but we didn't like touch screens for the fact that you can't do this, you can't highlight a field and then um, select it, whereas with a mouse you can, so it makes it far more accurate. Also it keeps sticky fingers and dirty fingers off the, yeah. uh, off the screens. We've also got, so here's our aeroplane symbol, and at the moment it's flying to this point here, we've got uh, graphical flight planning, so I can just select a waypoint here, and I can insert that after that point there, join it all together, execute it. and. In the days in the past, you had to go into your FMS and you had to type all that information in. Here it's all done for you graphically. And you and I both saw exactly what I did. Uh. So we're both parts from the loop of you. And these, these screens are massive. I mean, that, there's, there's so, so big and so much information that we could put on there. Yeah. Um, but we try and keep it very simple, very clean. Just show the pilot what he needs to know. If he doesn't need to know, we don't show him. Uh. This is um, so the uh, the flight attendant can uh, in this screen in this function can change the temperatures in the cabin. Uh, you can uh, change the temperature plus or minus three degrees from the cockpit uh -huh. setting. So right now we've got uh, 30 selected, but we can you know nominal setting in the cockpit will be 27. So we can go plus, th plus 3 to 30 or minus 3 to 24. You know, it'll, it'll let you go down to 24. So if people are complaining about being too cold, or too, or too cold uh, then you can change it here. But yeah, that's all right. Lighting. Um, I haven't played with this much. Uh, deep flying. I don't know if that's going to change. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's brightening up. Boarding and deplaning. Yeah. At night takeoff, I night guess there's not much going to happen there. Yep. Right we can look at, uh, I'm not too familiar with other aircraft, but uh, we can, I think we can select, let's see, can we, I guess we can, we can uh, activate uh, one of these buttons, if you want to press uh, one of those buttons, let's see, it's the, yeah, the flight attendant button, yeah, this one, yeah, yeah, so it'll be lit up here, see it in that, Right yeah. there. So you know we throw it was. And then yeah, you 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 know you got a time when it was lit up. So now it's 20 seconds old and uh, uh, 28 DEF. So you can you can it, ignore them. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. or go and figure out what's going on. <laughs> System. What's this? Okay. So the doors. All the doors have to be uh, armed for a yeah. for a flight. You know we have uh, a slide. 
that we'll deploy if we need it uh, on an emergency. And the slide is um, is activated by this lever. When it's down, the slide is armed. And if if, if this was down and I, I went to open the door, the slide would just Get deploy. Down, yeah. You know, so this uh, screen will tell us, you know, that the slide is ready or not ready. You know, in this case, it's they're not ready. Yeah. It's the water level. It's yeah. The status. The status. Uh, Meter controls for the galley up here. You know, galley area fan can be on, and it um, exhausts through here. Yeah. So it just circulates air, and then we can set the heater high or low. It's on high now, it'll start heating. High heat. 